Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, can I have your attention? So uh, thank you all for coming tonight. And then we're so happy to have you here uh, to join the Marketplace, Uber Marketplace Engineering Meetup event. So hope all of you will have a great night today uh, discussing the really interesting technical uh, topics. Um, so with that, I will give it to Kevin. So Kevin, yeah, let's start already. <laughs> so Kevin is our VP of Engineering and the head of Marketplace. Um, so he will kick up the event. Thank you, Wen. Can you hear me? Okay, sorry. Um, so uh, we're talking about the evening. Uh, I am, as uh, Yawen said, the overall VP Engineering of Marketplace. I'm going to talk a little bit about Marketplace and how Platform fits into that. Um, Uday is then going to talk about uh, Platform specifically. And then we have three areas where we're going to dive down in particular areas of Marketplace Platform. Um, so a uh, little bit about me, I uh, went to college in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, which has been in the news a lot lately. Um, spent a long time, uh, yes, very painful for me. Um, spent a long time doing machine learning research uh, as a UC Irvine grad student. Uh, worked at NASA, this is a long, long time ago, the era of small data. Um, reached the conclusion over time that this is true, um, as dates myself, machine learning had very little commercial uh, application. Um, I decided to leave machine learning behind. Um, that was actually pretty accurate about 30 years ago. Uh, did a couple of different things, founded a little company called Time Dance in the event scheduling space and Web 1.0. Um, then went to Google in 2004. Um, when you joined Google in 2004, you went where they told you to go. So I became an ads guy for 12 years. Um, and the probably most interesting thing I did in my time at uh, Google was I um, led YouTube ads. Uh, about seven years ago, I joined and a product manager had this idea that you could actually put skip buttons in front of video ads um, and still run a successful business. Everybody thought it was insane, uh, but we made it happen. So if you like skip buttons, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> And uh, then about uh, six months ago, I was looking for a new, uh, thing, a new challenge. Uh, met uh, Tuan, who's the CTO of Uber. Um, he described the Uber Marketplace challenge to me, and I was immediately really, really excited about it. Um, it's a strictly more interesting problem than ads, but a technical problem, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. But first, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Uber engineering as a whole and how Marketplace fits in. Um, any architecture diagram that describes a massive system is going to be wrong in 25 ways, especially when a VP is the one who's putting it up. Um, but I'll just kind of give a basic idea of how we think about Uber engineering. If you start at the top, obviously, we've got you know, the rider and the driver app. You all are familiar with the rider app. I, I'm not going to ask how many people have ridden Uber before. I'm going to guess it's a couple of you. Um, there's also a driver app, which is far more complicated than most of you haven't seen. Um, which is all the ways we incent uh, tell drivers what's happening, dispatch them, et cetera. And we have similar apps for Eats, um, for those of you who've ever uh, ordered a burrito or McDonald's um, using the Eats app. And we have a new business around Uber Freight. Um, there's apps that. So there's a top level team that's all the experience that riders, drivers, um, eaters, uh, couriers, et cetera, have. At the bottom, we've got core infrastructure, which is all the things just needed to make uh, things happen at scale. A lot less of it is Uber specific. It's less about trips and users and whatnot. It's more about um, how do we make sure we can do com um, compute, um, data, et cetera. And we're not here to talk about that right now. A lot of what we do is, is things that are open source, but we also have some things that we do that are uber specific. Um, Marketplace is more of kind of in the middle tier. And the middle tier, we've got a variety of things. We have business platform. Um, we have money, which is our riders should be charged accurately. Our drivers, most of them actually like getting paid accurately. Um, we've got a maps team, which is exactly what you think it is. It's the ETAs. When we tell you it's going to take 12 minutes to get across San Francisco, we try to make that as accurate as possible. Um, the maps that we provide both in the app for the rider and driver, et cetera. Um, and I'll talk about Marketplace here. And a way of thinking about marketplace is there's marketplace platform and all the things around pricing and dynamics. For the pricing side, um, we have a variety of teams. One is called dynamic pricing, which probably if you, some of you heard the wonderful word surge. Um, it's the team that actually calculates that multiplier that's looking at surge as what's the right way um, to motivate drivers uh, to tell riders that um, there's a lot of demand right now in order to pr uh, provide balance on the marketplace in real time. But we also do an enormous amount of long-term incentives. Um, we send out millions of emails every week to drivers saying, if you do this at this time, um, we're going to motivate you to do so. Part of how we're trying to balance the marketplace constantly is calculating ahead of time that we're going to need a lot more drivers on Saturday because there's a special event. Uh, we seem to be undersupplied uh, consistently. 
um, on Tuesday nights, et cetera. And forgive me for using economic terms. These, this supply is, of course, human beings who are trying to uh, motivate to do the things that will make the marketplace successful. What are all the financial incentives and, and other incentives we can put in place um, to make the marketplace happen sort of on a week time frame? And what are all the analytics and machine learning, big data we can use um, to calculate the right numbers there? And then driver positioning. One of the reasons I think this is such an interesting thing is we're not just sort of getting people off the couch, as it were, and motivating them to drive at all. We're also motivating them to be in the right place. If we've got a lot of drivers and they're all in the financial district and all our demand at the moment's in the marina, we've got a problem. What's the right thing we can do for that? If we pay everybody a million dollars to drive across town, we know what's going to happen. If we say, please, 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 we get a slightly different response. Where's the right place in between? And what, how can we motivate drivers to be in the right place so that we're constantly balancing the marketplace? So we can move drivers both in time and space. And that's a very, very interesting part of the problem. And then dispatch. When you push request UberX, which car shows up? We're trying to balance the marketplace. We might have a driver who's the closest for you right this second, but might be right next to somebody who, uh, what will almost certainly be another piece of demand 10 seconds later. Maybe there's another driver who's kind of in the wilds of uh, the outer sunset who might be a minute or two further away from you, um, but oh, for the overall uh, uh, balance of the marketplace, efficiency of the marketplace might be a better fit for you. What are all the things we can do to pick the right car, to pick the right set of cars for the right set of requests? Um, over time. But none of this would work. This is all the things we do that are economics. We have a lot of economics people on my staff, um, a lot of machine learning, a lot of big data. None of this matters if the rides don't work. If you request, request yeah, if you push request Uber X and no car shows up, the price doesn't matter. If the driver gets assigned to a rider, shows up and there's no rider there, none of this matters. How do we millions and millions of times a day both know what are the right uh, drivers who are available for a given rider? And how do we make the assignment and make all the right things happen in real time? Know where all the cars are, know where all the demand is. Um, and how do we do that millions of times a day and give you this magical experience? And that's what the marketplace platform is all about. 